I understand like a miracle is like you said spontaneous, but to me it was a miracle that I'm walking again. But I had to just to develop a plan because in my whole life, everything I did, I always had a plan. Playing football is always a plan. Did you always believe that plan would ultimately be successful or did you have doubts along the way? I, I always knew I was gonna walk again. To me, I always set my, my dreams and goals really high. And if I don't hit them, I, I knew I hit a few on the way. You had a moment in February of 2020 where I think, according to your book, the emotions finally took over and you, you really started to get down about what was taking place. After a, uh, a few years, it's really started to, to eat at me and bite at me. And, and I'm just really thankful for the people I had around me to help push me through this moment. Uh, the city of Pittsburgh, I, I found some of my closest friends that I, I haven't had when I was playing a game of football. And, and I have a lot of close friends when I played football, but I, I met someone, some more that I was able to lean on while I was playing as well. Can you describe how the Steelers, as an organization and a franchise, helped you? It's really easy to see somebody doing well and stay attached to them, but when they're doing bad, get disconnected. And one thing I felt like the organization did and the, the staff did is as I got injured, one thing they didn't do was pull away. Some people may think, oh, this is a football book, and this book is not about football. It's, it's about overcoming adversity, dealing with challenges, and having a positive mindset. And, I, and I'm a faith-based person, and having faith to, to believe that you can overcome anything. And Ryan's positive attitude, not only producing this book, but soon a documentary detailing his life and his journey back from that spinal cord injury to become a walking miracle. Andrew Stocky, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.